what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about halloween ends and where it's going to be leading into as it relates to the events that unfolded with the with halloween 2018 and now halloween kills david gordon green recently had an interview where he talked about how basically the time jump the four-year time jump we know where we're getting and how the characters that we have been through or dealt with over the course of these last two movies again the 2018 film and now halloween kills is basically just giving them time to reflect and process what they've gone through in these two movies so far and then we'll kind of find them on the other side of that after having processed it and how they want to deal with their trauma and how they're addressing their trauma so on and so forth now i'll leave a link to this interview down in the description of the video he also goes on to confirm that it's going to be focusing on the psych just the psychology of it all and how these characters have processed those events and one of the characters that he talked about i guess will have a, a huge centerpiece will be the character of allison nelson who who I've been making points about throughout a lot of my videos where I'm stated that how the movie is started. I know in, in terms of marketing, they're marketing it as Michael Myers and Laurie Strode's final battle or just the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. You know, overall, this is still the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, two forces that met at one point in 1978. And then they're meeting once again, 40 years later. And you have all of these different variable factors that are in that are in between them now that's still encompassing i guess the overall saga of those two characters all these people related to lord now bleeding into her trauma with michael now her daughter her granddaughter her daughter who she spoiler if you haven't watched halloween kills yet so i guess you should turn off the video if you don't want to know know this a little bit karen has now died and we're left with just Lori and allison Lori and allison now I have to deal in process with all of the carnage that Michael has done in the 2018 film and now Halloween Kills. Allison though is in a position where she's now lost her father, she's lost her mother, she's lost her boyfriend, she's lost uh, many, many friends that night. She's, she's lost much more than Lori has in her first confrontation with Michael Myers. Not to say that Allison and The Shape had a lot of just impactful encounters over the course of those two movies or anything like that but it's just over the course of his carnage and the times that they did meet up he has taken someone that allison has allison loved he's taken more loved ones from her in that one night than Lori had ever had taken from her during the events of 1978 she has lost her mother her father she's lost her boyfriend i don't even know well i kind of understand she's got feelings for the guy but i'm glad she broke up with him but she lost her boyfriend she lost of a, a plethora of friends just so much more compared to Lori, and now she's having to process all that and then we're going to catch up with her in halloween ends and rightfully so the movies should are doing what i hope they would be doing or at least i think that's the direction they're going in where you're having us start off with Lori, the person who we met back in the 78 film and then we kind of slightly explore her daughter in a way played by judy gear karen who out of the out of the three karen yes i would say is the most underwhelming just because she feels like the middle and then you have the end piece here who should be the youngest out of the three which is allison who is going to be the one at the end of the day out of this incarnation this new timeline that they've created she'll be the one standing tall remembering all the trauma and overcoming that trauma and being the one to say you know what you're not going to keep me uh mentally enslaved for the rest of my adulthood i'm going to take you out i'm going to get revenge for my mother my father and if Lori stroke dies i'm going to get revenge for my grandmother and i'm going to remember this night and i'm going to tell my story about how i destroyed the entity that had been haunting haddonfield for nearly five decades that's just how i see the movie ending in a like a way of just sending home the overall themes of the trauma they've been exploring or trauma as a lot of you like to say that's how jamie lee curtis says it so it's just like i th i think they're doing the right things here allison nelson getting the final say in this is what i would hope that this means with her being a, a big focus going into halloween ends and getting to see how her life is like now i would imagine that she lives at home with her grandmother maybe she hasn't gone off to college either because of the events 
and or maybe she has gone off to college and just when she comes home for college during this halloween season for some reason where i guess maybe it didn't work out at school and she just happens to come home that's when michael is back the only concerning thing at this point for me with halloween ends is the time jump how they're going to rationalize why michael was gone for four years did he get apprehended once again did he just walk away into the ether but now he's back four years later for what reason i don't know i don't think they're even going to try to make it even relevant as to what the four-year wait was for just many things that i have always concerned me about the halloween films because now you're in a position where you're having to rationalize okay why is he always coming back on halloween what is he doing just so many different narratives that you could juggle with the four-year time jump or so many different questions rather that you might have to answer because of the fact that you are doing it like you have to beg the it, it begs the question what was the original idea what was it that you had cooked up because i guarantee you if years go by after halloween ends and no matter how good or bad it is how, how good or bad it is or isn't if we find out that there could have been something even better from the original idea but these real world events shape change your mind and we got something that many would consider to be underwhelming if the original idea for halloween ends was ever revealed that i know that's going to be something the fandom won't won't agree with i could see myself being one of them you know that's never fun when you find out these original concepts for movies compared to what you originally already have and what you have to stick with that kind of stings just in many ways similar to jeepers creepers 3 in many ways similar to that knowing the original concept for jeepers creepers 3 knowing the details of what we were already planning to get and then we don't even get that in the final product that's that's very disheartening so and then again not getting it that was very disheartening because they had a very good concept in mind for jeepers creepers 3 so if we find out something very similar with halloween ends and then we're stuck with the product of what we got i know it's going to bother people same way we find out all these other original concepts that they have for halloween sequels that never came to fruition but instead we got this trash that trash not to say, say that all the concepts sounded interesting or sound like they would translate into good films on screen but you know it's just some sounded better than the entries that they decided to go with honestly but halloween ends being about allison nelson and focusing on her digging deeper into that character kind of shifting the narrative for her to be the one holding the mantle at the end of this is what i've always said this should be like it should start off with the oldest and end with the youngest it should not be the other way around because at the end of the day allison is the one who's going to have she's the one who has the most life ahead of her so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video